Well, I'd just like to go over some things. I uh, found this axe. I dug it out of the dirt a couple years ago when I was uh, making a garden. I'll zoom in close. It's all covered in sawdust, but uh, as you can see, it's uh, all pitted full of rust. But I but uh, after watching what Bucken says, he likes for profiles. I notice this kind of has a profile that he seems to like, even though somebody's hamburgered the end a bit. So I decided I'd put a handle on it. I was, I'm making handles, but I don't have any ready yet. So I just bought a handle, hickory handle. I had to uh, do a serious amount of work with the uh, rasp to get it in, but you know, whatever. I, I didn't uh, finish it up real nice and probably didn't do a proper job, but whatever. I did it as best, uh, best I could given the circumstances. I uh, just polished up the uh, the leading edge there just a bit, just with the flap wheel. And uh, boy, I can't believe how how good this thing splits. I've just been splitting. Uh, I've been splitting a bit of wood. My little guy's throwing a bunch in the pile already, but uh, just been kind of walking around instead of picking up the pieces and uh, carrying them to the what I was using as a block. And then there's my maul. I've used that all last year. And, uh, and, uh, I, uh, the cheeks that are, the polish on that is actually from wood. <laughs> that's not from, uh, that's not from, uh, a flap wheel or anything. I didn't sharpen this at all. It was, uh, pretty good when I got it. This actually was my dad's. He, uh, it had no handle in it. And I put a handle in it and I did a terrible job. And I over, I over struck it yesterday. And broke the other handle so I bought two handles hopefully it's the last two I ever have to buy but whatever so we got my ash hole over here <laughs> uh, that's all green ash is what that all is like the species green ash well it's also uh, uh, most of this let me think about where this all came from I got some over there if you see way over there some split that was a tree that came down, but it is soaking wet. So I had split some up and brought it over, but it is like soaking wet, soaking wet. So I uh, just kind of left what's over there uh, just to keep it out of the out of the pile. This stuff, I believe, I um, some of it I cut down from my uh, kid's babysitter. Uh, they had a tree that was a beetle kill, and uh, or I should say an EAB kill. It wasn't totally dead, the tree, but uh, it was seven-ninths dead. Uh, and then uh, I cut down a couple of them at uh, uh, just on the edge of a farmer's field. He was pushing down a bunch of uh, trees that had got out of hand, and the rest of it came from there. So I don't know which, which is which. It's all mixed together. And then we got uh, a pile of poplar here. This is poplar. It splits really easy, um, but uh, poplar isn't necessarily the best firewood, but... I'm just trying to get ahead of my firewood here, so uh, I figure a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush type of deal, eh? Get what you can get, it's better than nothing. And we, we camp in the summer, so I'll probably end up taking the poplar camping. And then this pile here is not totally dry, but it's probably good enough to burn if I need to, which I will. And then that, it all kind of got mixed in together here. It's uh, there's a lot of small stuff in there, and most of it is uh, box elder, but uh, we've been burning it. It's dry. Uh, this stuff was, it's a mix. There's a lot of it dry, and the odd piece that just really isn't. But uh, I don't I don't have a great supply, and I I did buy a little bit like this small stuff, all this dry box elder. I I bought that. I didn't pay much for it, but I ended up with uh, my uh, trailer over there. Uh, it's an 18 foot car hauler and I just put about, I think those are about 18 inch sides on it, 16, 18 inch sides on it. And I had that, um, f I had that and the truck f full right to the top once and then the trailer about three quarters full once. So there was quite a bit of wood. There's some stack somewhere else. So, but anyways, I just want to go over this and then I got, uh, just want to go over what I did for my axes here. And then uh, I'll make a video, but I don't have a tripod or anything. I got a real video cam that I'll probably try to set up one time and <coughs> do that. 
And then I got some spruce over there. I believe it's spruce. I'm not a tree expert by any means, but I believe it's spruce. And the axes don't really even go into that. And then if you look over there beside the barn, which is in the process we're trying to get it organized, which is not that easy, I'll zoom in. Ooh, that's all basswood over there. It's not, it's really wet. I can't believe how much water that stuff draws in. And it's, I can't, I can't even hardly get an ax into it. But uh, it's not really good firewood anyways. Um, so uh, we'll see what I do with it. Like it's, it's good once it's dry for getting stuff uh, started apparently. But uh, people like to carve with it, make carvings and stuff and decoys. So I, I'll probably make small slabs out of it and see if anybody's interested in it. And I got some big pieces over there. Um, that is, uh, I don't remember what that is. <laughs> I really don't. Probably either, I don't remember. I can't tell from here. Might be cottonwood. And I do have a little bit of cottonwood mixed in here. Oh, right there, that's a piece of cottonwood, the one with no bark. Uh, um, and uh, there's a little bit mixed in here, cottonwood. There's one with that quarter piece sitting right on it. That's a piece of cottonwood. There's there's the odd piece in here anyways of cottonwood, which is whatever. It's not really the best <laughs> wood uh, firewood, but hey, I got to take what I can get. It was, uh, I'd thrown some sticks out at the branch dump. They got a public branch dump there. You could just dump it off. And I guess the tree, local uh, arborists, they dump um, a lot of their trees off there. Instead of trying to, I guess those are big trees to grind up, but uh, they just dump them there. And uh, so it was pretty, it was already, the bark was already off of it. So I was like, well, it's got to be at least, uh, you know, somewhat dry. So I I just cut off a couple manageable chunks. Oh, there's one right there, right in the middle of it. That's cottonwood right there. But anyways, there's some, there's the ash without bark. Um, so yeah, that's just wanted to go over my my uh, little axe here, my little laser. I'll see if I can do it one-handed. I hope I got that. Uh, not quite putting enough force into it. That's hard with one hand. There. Anyways, it works good. There. There's my other phone ringing. <laughs> Alrighty, I uh, gotta go.